Hey, hello everybody, Pastor Judy's here, and this is the BRC Time, the Bible Reading Challenge. And I'm happy to say today is the 200th episode. <laughs> Alright, towards the end, Pastor Jun will tell you what to do, okay? So I could choose the winners for this event. All right, today we are reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4. Let's read it together, okay? 2 Timothy chapter 4. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of the season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, in your hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Personal Remarks Do your best to come to me quickly, for Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Christine's has gone to Galatia and Titus to Demacia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, because he is helpful to me in my ministry. I sent Tychicus and Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas, and my scrolls, especially the parchments. Alexander, the metal worker, did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him, because he strongly opposed our message. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack, and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Final greetings. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, and the household of Onesiphorus. The rest of us stayed in Corinth, and I left Trophimus sick in Miletus. Do your best to get here before winter. Eubulus greets you, and so do Pudens, Linus, Claudia, and all the brothers and sisters. The Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you all. Amen. And that was 2 Timothy chapter 4. And before we end, I have to give you a mission for episode 200 event. All right, everybody, here's the thing. From out of the, the New Testament books that we read, why don't you choose the favorite character, the Bible characters, and then tell me why you like them in the comments. And Pastor Jun will choose the best three people who gave me a very good reason about why you chose the favorite Bible characters from the previous chapters and the books that we read. All right, 
All right, everybody. I'll see you very soon. Okay? Bye-bye.